Uh, yeah, those who have participated in week three, uh, week three session last Tuesday can skip. All right, then uh, we can uh, start with today's session. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay, coming to question number one. So, if A denotes the set of friends Avnish has and B denotes the set of friends Bhavesh has, which of the following best describes their friendships neighborhood overlap? So you have four options. So uh, first let us define what uh, neighborhood overlap is. So neighborhood overlap it is basically the ratio of Mutual friends to total number of friends. So uh, is this is the number of friends? Uh, so a is the set of of these friends and b is same for a wish so mutual friends is basically the intersection a intersection b and total number of friends is A union B. So the ratio is A intersection B over A union B. So you take the cardinality of this two sets. So the right option from this list is option C. So all right. So if you have any questions, uh, you can ask now or we can proceed on to the next problem. OK, or you, you may ask at the end as well. So. Coming to uh, problem two. So uh, which of the following states statements are true with respect to the edge? X in the graph given below. So this is the edge they are talking of. So what is true about this? So you have three options. It's a weak tie. It's a local bridge. It's a strong tie. Now consider A and B. A and B. So are there any mutual friends? How many mutual friends do they have? If you look at the graph, none of A's friends. What are friends of A? Friends of A, let us say. Friends of A are I, J, C, and B. Sorry, not uh, J. So I, C, and B. And what are the friends of B? are d comma h now are there any mutual friends in these two sets so if you see there are no mutual friends uh, one thing so d h and a as well so there are no mutual friends if you look at these two so number of mutual friends is zero so that means that this edge that exists between A and B is a local bridge. Local bridge. AB is a local bridge because uh, no uh, triads exist. Now, if it is a local bridge, so 
what do you think the edge ab is it a weak tie or a strong tie weak tie or a strong tie the answer is that it will be a weak tie because of strong triadic closure property So why this is a weak tie is basically suppose considered A. So let's say A is a very has a strong tie with this edge C. And suppose B is also a strong. There is also a strong tie between A and B. So by strong triadic closure property, it would imply that B and C would also develop a tie, but such a tie does not exist from the structure of the graph as you can see hence a and b is not a strong tie and thus it's a weak tie and so the correct answer is it's a weak tie it's a local bridge and here the option is uh, c uh, one and two both okay so uh, if you have any questions you can ask or we'll proceed to the next question all right then uh, coming to question number three so what we have is in the given graph uh, nodes represents people and h represents friendship if e of ij is equal to friendship embeddedness between nodes i and j then choose the correct option so you have four options so uh, before choosing let us understand what friendship embeddedness is so embeddedness is a measure of a measure of how much trust is there between how much trust is there between i and j so and the proxy for this quantity is the number of mutual friends so if i and j have more mutual friends then they have a higher embeddedness if they have lesser number of mutual friends then they have lower mutual uh, lower embeddedness so now you you have to consider only two edges edge a b and edge c d so e of a b is how much so a and b have two mutual friends that is you have e and f whereas e of c d is just one because they have only one mutual friend which is e so e a b is greater than e c d so the right option is option A. So please repeat the question. Uh, okay, I'll repeat it once more. So in, in the given graph, so if EIJ represents the friendship embeddedness between nodes I and J, then we have to choose one of the four options. So what is embeddedness? It's a measure of how much trust is there between two nodes i and j and the proxy that is used is the number of mutual friends that uh, i and j share so eij is the number of mutual friends they have so if you look now we have to con if you look at the options we only have to consider uh, two edges a b and c d so if you look at a b so a b has how many mutual friends two which are um, AP's mutual friends are E and F. So 
E and F are mutual friends of AB and mutual friends of CD is only F, only E. So E of CD is one and E of AB is two. So E of AB greater than E of CD and hence the right option is option A. All right, so I hope that is clear. Uh, let us move on to the next question. Which is question four. So here, uh, which of the following statements are correct about the edge E in the following graph? So one, whether its neighborhood overlap is 0.5, whether it's a strong tie or or it's not a local bridge now uh, let's take a look at uh, the edge e so neighborhood overlap so neighborhood overlap is basically the ratio of mutual friends to total number of friends So mutual friends of AB are only one. So this is the only mutual friend AB has and total friends how many uh, AB has. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. So you have a uh, total number of uh, friendship is uh, the total uh, possible friendship the a union b is you count the total friends of a and b so one two three four five six so it's one by six and uh, oh sorry uh, so then total mutual friends there are two so this is also a mutual friend, so I'll write it by M. So uh, these are the mutual friends, so it would be uh, two uh, by six, and uh, that is equal to around uh, 0.33. So uh, option one is not correct. Uh, option uh, two it's a strong tie or it's not a local bridge obviously it is not a local bridge because they form a triad so if you look at a and b they form a triad with this node uh, let's say c so uh, it's therefore not a local bridge so this option is definitely correct this is wrong and since it's not a local bridge it is also a strong tie so option two and three are correct for this question if you have any doubt uh, you can ask uh, all right then uh, let us move on to question five so question five says ram reaches space and become friends with an alien community what role of social networks is at display here with respect to ram so ram knows connected to humans and ram is also connected to aliens so but we assume there are no other no no other human uh, is connected to the aliens. Therefore, if the humans have to communicate, this is the set of humans, and this is the set of aliens. 
so if they have to communicate they have to communicate via ram so ram is definitely uh, playing the role of a broker so it's therefore it shows brokerage and it is a structural hole because ram knows humans as well as aliens however humans do not know the alien so they the uh, one side of the graph is uh, not connected with the other side of the graph and hence there's a structural hole present as well so a and b both are correct so uh, the right option is option c it's both structural hole and a uh, brokerage all right uh, moving on to question six so in question six the audience of batman versus superman uh, fight are very passionate and they there are equally large number of supporters on both sides what property do you expect in the network from by the audience so again so let's say this is batman and this is superman now fans of batman by homophily fans of batman if two people are if there are triads of uh, people who are fans of batman they automatically close the loop because due to homophily so birds of same feather flock together and it would result in a closure and same appears over here so closure will definitely occur uh brokerage so there may might be few people who are fans of batman and superman as well and hence uh, brokerage can be displayed as well however so these are the only two answers that can be possible so the right answer is option d so structural structural hole may not be applicable because if you consider let's say one person who is a batman fan he knows only all the batman uh, uh, all the um, other batman fans but he may not be connected to all the superman fans and hence a structural hole need not exist between in this graph it can exist but it need not exist so the option is a and b for this question sir what is homophily homophily is uh, like if if a is batman fan b is is also batman fan then a and b become friends like if you support the same team so you become friends so that is how a closure is reached in among the fans so this will lead to closure in one section like in the batman section as well as in the superman section excuse me sir Uh, can you tell the how to calculate homophily? This is next week question, but need. Yeah, homophily. Uh, so that you will like. Uh, I am. I myself don't. I have to study it like quantitatively how to calculate. So tomorrow it will be covered in the TA session on homophily questions on homo. This is just the concept of homophily that. i am using to solve the problem i myself have to check it out okay yeah. question 1 and 2 can we solve can you repeat once again sir uh, can you repeat 1 and 2 uh, yeah i'll repeat it but i'll repeat it at the end so i am at question 6 now so uh, at the end if you have any doubt i'll repeat all the questions whatever questions you have doubt so now let us go with the flow otherwise it will get interrupted at the end i'll repeat whatever questions you have doubt uh, 
okay so coming to question number seven so while implementing the girvan newman neumann algorithm on a certain graph g you observe that edge e gets removed after edge e1 gets removed after e2 what can you comment about them so this is girvan newman What it does is it finds communities in the graph. So if you have a given graph, so it uh, tells you how to find identify how many communities are there in the graph, how many closely connected communities are there, and it does so by removing edges with highest in descending order of uh, betweenness so it removes edges in descending order of betweenness so if it removes in descending order of betweenness and e gets removed uh, e1 gets removed after e2 that means e2 has a higher betweenness than e1 so option b is the correct answer for this question sir in this question last uh, in last lecture of ma'am uh, yeah. she told that the option d is correct i am telling that option b is correct but she telling that the between uh, given neon algorithm works on the uh, in order that uh, ascending order uh, so it's actually the descend it works in descending order so it yeah. has so it basically removes if you remember the lectures it removes the highways so highways have higher betweenness uh, compared to other uh, paths so uh, I think option B is the correct answer and I, I have also checked with the solution so uh, in by provided by the instructor and option B is the correct one. That's why it creates the confusion. Sir. That's why I'm wrong with that question. In that assignment. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure B is correct. B, see if C is correct. That means it says that E has um, higher between us. It, Option C implies E1 has higher betweenness, but it should then have been removed before E2 itself. But it says that E1 gets removed after E2. So first it removes the edge with higher betweenness and then with lower betweenness. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, let us move on to the next question. That is question eight. So question eight says if community A is a better community B, then which of the following holds true? So a good com what is sign of a good community? The mem all members are connected among themselves. So basically it will have higher number of edges within <coughs> intra edges greater than inter edges. So the ratio of intra edges to inter edges is higher in A. So A is a better community. So option A is the correct answer for this. So they are more connected among themselves, like they behave as a closely knit unit than 
community B. So that is why uh, the ratio of intra ages should be more than the uh, the inter intra ages. The number of intra ages should be greater than number of inter ages, and hence the ratio of this ratio should be positive. So the right option is option A. Sir, what is mean by intra edges and inter edges? So let's say you have uh, two communities. Let's say this is A and this is B. So you have nodes in A and similarly nodes in B. So what I mean by inter edges are edges that exists within the members of A. So you have this community A and these are the members. So these edges that I just drew, these are the in, intra edges. So these are intra. And you can have edges from here to here here to here so these are inter edges so is this clear yes sir okay so option a is the correct one for question eight so for question nine so how many connected components do you expect to see in a graph once the girvan newman algorithm holds when used for finding two com communities within the graph? So the answer is basically hidden in the question itself. It is given here two good community. So the what like I mentioned this uh, girvan newman. So it find communities and it does so by removing edges in descending order of betweenness so once it finds that uh, and it terminates when number of connected components num is uh, greater than one. So one means connected graph. One stands for connected. And if it gets more than one, it becomes disconnected. So just when it so from one, if it becomes two, so the number of the algorithm terminates. So the answer is two itself. So does not find multiple communities. You can try carrying it out, but usually it holds after uh, the number of once the graph becomes disconnected, it stops. So that is question number nine. If you have uh, uh, any doubt, you can ask or we can proceed to the next question. So it finds basically find number of communities in a graph. So you have a given graph and you want to find how many closely knit components are there. So if you let's say you have this um, famous barbell graph. So let's say. So you have, uh, let's say, two components and they are connected by, let's say, one edge. So by visually, you can visually, you can see that there are two components or communities. But how to actually program it, how to code and find out how many components are there. So this algorithm provides you with the tool for 
finding out how many components exist in such cases and it usually stops after it found, finds two clusters or two communities and it stops but you can actually carry it on for further uh, for finding further communities as well is that clear yes sir okay so let us move on to question 10 so question 10 says choose the correct option based on the given two statements so statement one says nodes at the end of a local bridge have no common nodes and statement two removing bridges from a graph leads to a disconnected graph so nodes at the end of a local bridge so if you check statement one so local bridge is basically if you have node a you have node b there exists there is a edge between a to b however no mutual friends zero mutual friends this is local bridge so a and b are friends but they have zero mutual friends so the nodes and the local bridge in a graph have no common nodes. so definitely uh, statement one is correct now coming to statement two, it says that uh, removing uh, bridges from a graph leads to a disconnected graph. So now there can be two ambiguity here. So what do they mean? Is it bridge or local bridge? For if state, if you consider statement two for bridge, then it definitely is will make removing will make graph disconnected but local bridge removing may not make she disconnected so if you have a graph like this let's say one two three four so let's say these are the two communities and they are heavily they are connected among themselves and let's say uh, this ex exists so this edge that exists this is a bridge if i remove this it, it will make the whole graph into two disconnected components so this is a, a example of a bridge How, this is also a local bridge because the ends the nodes a and b at the ends do not have a mutual friend however if you only consider strict definition of local bridge so let's say again we consider the graph So if we have like this, so both of them are local bridge. But if I remove one of them, the graph does not become disconnected. It still remains connected by this upper edge. So if it is a local bridge, depending, so there is an ambiguity in question. So if we consider this option bridge as uh, like actual bridge then both the statements are correct if it is bridge and if it is only a local bridge then statement one is correct and statement two is incorrect so so depending on what it is these are the two answers so in uh, in the assignment it's usually meant as a local bridge and hence option c is the correct answer yeah okay so these were the 10 questions from week three that i have discussed so now if you have any question related to assignment this uh, week three assignment uh, 
Yeah, go ahead. Question six. Question six, okay. Okay, so question six is the audience of Batman versus Superman. Okay, so closure means so it's a triad. Let's say you you have let's say this is you and you have two friends A and B. So you are very good friends. So these are strong ties. So A and B are your very good friends. So there is a chance, high chance that uh, A B also become friend. So this concept is what is known as closure. So strong triadic closure. So if if two people are connected strongly by a common mutual friend, they are likely to become connected. That's why this leads to a closure. So consider this Batman versus Superman thing. So consider the fans of Batman. So let's say you are a Batman fan and there is a person A who is a Batman fan who is a friend and another person B also your friend so it would result in a and b also becoming friends because they because of common interest so that is what is meant by closure so like people supporting a football team or a cricket team so they people supporting the same team becomes friends so supporting the same player become friends so that is what is meant by closure so that closure will happen in both the batman communities and in the superman communities as well so closure you got right yes sir okay so and brokerage what happens is that there may be few people who on this side on the batman side who are friends with also the superman side but there will be very few of them and hence if some information has to travel from this batman community to the superman community it has to travel through those people only so they have kind of a uh, um, monopoly over the network monopoly over information sharing like there are only few routes by which the Batman community communicates with the Superman community. That is only the few. So hence, they these people who are connected to both the sides, they are brokers. Basically, it's the concept of broker that uh, we use that connects two parties, like an agent, third party. So that is how brokerage occurs. So in this community it would be closely knit community between batman and superman and there will be few connections across it as well so those will be the broker so closure and brokerage will definitely be seen in this network uh, is the brokerage concept clear yes sir. okay so you have any more questions? I can uh, repeat. Question number one and two. OK. So question one. So question one says that uh, if A denotes the friends of Avinash and B denotes the friends of Bhavesh, so which of the following best describes their friendship neighborhood overlap? So this concept of neighborhood overlap, it basically is a measure of how closely connected two people are so how closely connected two nodes are so it is the ratio of mutual friends by total number of friends bit among them so the mutual friends are the ones that are friends of both a and b and total friends are the all friends that a has plus all the friends b has minus the uh, common friends so let's say A is the set of Avnish friend, B is the set of Bhavishya's friend. So mutual friends is basically the intersection of the two sets. So A intersection B gives you the friends who are both friends of Avnish 
and Bhavesh, and the total number of friends is basically the union of the two sets. So it counts the uh, num the all possible friends of Avnish, all possible friends of Bhavesh, and uh, removes the mutual friends. So this is the ratio, and hence option C is the correct answer. Uh, so this is question one. Mm, question two, uh, you have which of the following statements are true with respect to edge X in the graph below. So this is the edge X that is circled. As you can see, it's an edge between A and B. So it, whether it's a weak tie, it's a local bridge or a strong tie. So if A and B, if A and B, there are two nodes. So now let us look at the number of mutual friends they have. If you look at the structure of the graph given, they do not have any mutual friend. And by definition, that is the definition of a local bridge. So local bridge basically is represents an edge that has no triads. So A and B do not have any mutual friends. So A does not know the friends of B. B does not know the friends of A. So A's friends are I, C, and B. B's friends are D, H, and A. But there are no other mutual friends except themselves. So the number of mutual friends is zero. So A and B is definitely a local bridge. So whether it's a strong tie and weak tie, so uh, by this property of strong triadic closure, a local bridge is a weak tie. Why? Because if suppose A and C was a strong tie and let's say A and B was a strong tie, then by this closure property, B and C would also form a tie. But in this graph, you can see there is no edge between B and C and hence this edge between A and B is not a strong tie and hence it's a weak tie. So option C is the correct answer. So one and two is done. So if you have any more questions. Yes, someone asked uh, questions three and four. OK, so question three is in the given graph nodes represents people and edges represent friendship. If E of IJ is equal to the friendship embeddedness between I and J, then choose the correct option. So embeddedness is basically a measure of how much trust is there between two nodes I and J. And it's uh, measured by this quantity E I J, which basically counts the number of mutual friends uh, two nodes across the edge have. So if you consider a B. So this H A B. So if you consider the mutual friends of A and B. So the mutual friends of A and B are E and F. And mutual friends of C and D are B, is only E. So E of A B is only two, whereas E of C D is one, and hence E of A B is greater than E of C D. So option A is the correct answer. So uh, this is question three. <laughs> In question four, which of the following statements are correct about edge E in the graph? So first it counts whether the neighborhood overlap is 0.5, whether it's a strong tie or whether it's not a local bridge. So if you count the neighborhood overlap, just like I mentioned now, it is the ratio of mutual friends by the total number of friends. So how many mutual friends A and B have? So if you look at this graph, I denoted the mutual friends by M. So there are two mutual friends, uh, uh, this one and this one. So there are two. And how many total friends are there? So A has uh, one friends of A. Uh, so total friends. So this is one, this is two, uh, this is three, this is four, and this is five. So um, one, two, three, four, and five. So they have five friends. So, uh, sorry, um, my mistake. So total number of friends is five. And so the ratio is point. Uh, four but it is given 0.5 so the first option is incorrect so whether it's a local bridge or not so 
uh, by definition of a local bridge a and b should not have any mutual friend but as you can see there exists two mutual friends therefore definitely it's not a local bridge and since it is a not a local bridge and by the closure property it is a strong tie so option two and three are correct for this question uh, okay so okay if you have any more doubts you can ask Uh, so tomorrow you will be uh, the TA session will discuss uh, uh, questions from week four. So since you requested week four, you will have to submit week four assignments this week. So week four is also being discussed. And ag again on next Monday, we'll also discuss some questions from week four. And uh, in Tuesday's session, we'll discuss week five. So since there are two TAs, we are distributing the weeks like this. So you attend whichever session you feel more comfortable with. All right, if you have any questions, you can uh, ask or you can type it in the chat box as well. OK, so someone is asking what is the concept of structural holes? So structural holes is basically say you have uh, a graph like this where uh, so people are connected among themselves but uh, there exists a section of the So if you see these nodes, let me color it in red. So these nodes, they are not connected among themselves. So this part is a structural hole. So a portion of the network is not connected among themselves there is no connection between a certain portion of the network a certain uh, section of the community do not uh, interact with each other or not friends with each other so those are known as structural hole so in uh, this case uh, there exists a structural hole because in this problem five as you can see because humans and aliens if you consider uh, the entire network so it would be something like this. So humans on one side. And aliens on one side. So. Maybe this is the graph. So this is humans. And this is aliens. So. This is the structural hole that is being created. Uh, I hope that is clear. Okay. So if you have any more questions, you can ask. All right, if you do not have any questions, then we can close the session for today and we can again meet uh, next week. Uh, someone is asking, can you upload this? OK, I'll do it soon. Uh, I'll upload it uh, within half an hour. All right, if you have any more questions.
all right then then you people can leave the meeting and then we'll meet again next week thanks for joining and taking the time out to attend this tutorial class and all the best for the course